Hello and welcome to the world of astronomy. This is Akashvir. Today we will learn something about a famous personality who was the first to modernize the physics and science of astronomy. Have you ever gazed over a night sky? Or have you ever wondered why the moon and sun and planets revolve? Why the earth revolves the sun? Or some other questions related to the motion of stars at night sky. Galileo Galilei was the first person in this field who took the universe to a different world of knowledge, followed the Copernican theory that the sun is the center of the universe. At that time, that all the planets and satellites revolve around the sun. But the Aristotelians believe that the Earth is the center and all the planets and satellites and stars, moons and all revolve around the Earth. Galileo was born on 15th of February 1564 in Pisa in Florence, Italy. Galileo was first of six children born to Vincenzo Galilei and a well-known musician and music theorist and his mother Gilia. In 1574 the family moved to Florence where Galileo started his formal education at Camaldense Monastery in Wallemprosa. I'm sorry if I mispronounce the words. In 1583, Galileo entered the University of Pisa to study meditation, as his father wanted him to learn meditation. Armed with prodigious intelligence and drive, he soon became fascinated with many subjects, particularly mathematics and physics. While at Pisa, Galileo was exposed to Aristotelian view of the world, then the leading scientist, authority, and the only one sanctioned by the Roman Catholic Church. At first, Galileo supported his view, like any other intellectual of his time, and was on track to be a university professor. However, due to financial difficulties, Galileo left the university in 1885 before earning his degree. Galileo continued his study in mathematics after leaving the university, supporting himself with minor teaching positions. He used to teach uh, students or some kind of tuitions of mathematics and physics. During this time, he began his two decade study on objects in motion and published a little balance describing the hydrostatic principles of very small quantities, which brought him some fame. This gained him a teaching post at the University of Pisa in 1589. While there, Galileo conducted his fable experiment with falling objects and produced his manuscript Du Motu, means on motion, a departure from Aristotelian views about motion and falling objects. Galileo developed an arrogance about his work, and his stringent criticism of Aristotle left him isolated among his colleagues. In 1594, his contract with the University of Pisa was not, was not reviewed. Galileo quickly found a position at the University of Padua, teaching geometry, mechanics and astronomy. The appointment was fortunate, for his father had died in 1591, leaving Galileo untrusted with the care of his younger brother. During his 18-year tenure at Padua, he gave entertaining lectures and attracted large crowds of followers, further increasing his fame and sense. In July 1609, Galileo learned about a simple telescope built by Dutch eyeglass makers and soon developed one of his own. In August, he demonstrated it to some Watanians merchant who saw its value for navigation and spotting ships. The merchants gave Galileo a salary to manufacture several of them. 
Galileo's ambition pushed him to go further and in the fall of 1609 he made the fateful decision to turn his telescope towards the heavens. Using his telescope to explore the universe, Galileo observed the moon and found Venus had faces like moon, proving it it rotated around the earth, around the sun, which refuted the Aristotelian doctrine that earth was the center of the universe. He also discovered the Jupiter had revolving moons and didn't revolve around planet earth. In 1613, he published his observations on sunspots which also refuted Aristotelian doctrine that the sun was perfect. In addition to telescope, his numerous mathematical and scientific discoveries. In 1604, Galileo constructed a hydrostatic balance for measuring small objects. That same year, he also refined his theories on motion and falling objects and developed the universal law of acceleration which all objects in the universe obeyed. He also derived a type of simple thermometer. After Galileo built his telescope in 1609, he began mounting a body of evidence and openly supporting the Copernican theory that the Earth and planets revolve around the Sun. The Copernican theory, however, challenged the doctrine of Aristotle and established order set by the Catholic Church. In 1613, Galileo wrote a letter to a student to explain how Copernican theory did not contradict biblical passages. stating that scriptures was written from an earthly perspective and implied that that science provided a different more accurate perspective Galileo studied the motion of pendulum and he observed that whether the pendulum's length is long or short or it is moving fast or slow the oscillation for all these pendulums or in all the cases cases remains the same whether the pendulum is small with a small bob or whether the pendulum is large it always takes the same amount of time from going one position to another position or its frequency remains same even galileo clarified that the gravity and the weight of an object does not depend on its that the acceleration of that object does not depend on the mass or two objects with different masses fall with the same rate from a height he demonstrated this experiment this by experimenting from the tower of pisa leaving two objects of different masses he argued that all the objects fall with the same rate his famous quotation is that this universe is written in the language of mathematics and to understand this language we need some formula rules it is written in the terms of shapes and sizes like circle triangle laws of vector and all these kind of things he was but for all these things he was violating the things which were given by aristotle and the things which were written in bible while doing all those things he was sentenced to house arrest while under house arrest galileo wrote two new sciences published in holland in 1638 by that time galileo had begun became blind and was in poor health in time however the church could not deny the truth in science in 1758 it lifted the ban on most works supporting copernican theory it wasn't until 1835 that the vatican dropped its opposition to heliocentric altogether Galileo died after suffering from a fever and heart palpitations on January 8, 1642 in Arcetri near Florence, Italy. However, 1642 is lucky year to 
four signs because in 1642 one more great scientist Sir Newton Sir Isaac Newton was born so that will be in the another lecture thank you very much for watching this video please like share and subscribe and if you want any suggestion please write in the comments thank you very much have a good day bye bye